Can you tell me about a time where you experienced conflict at work and how did you handle it? Well, interviewing at Slack, you can bet you will definitely be asked several behavioral based questions, which at times can feel a little bit difficult to prepare for. So let's break it down. Hi, my name is Joe Seri. I'm a senior recruiter here at Slack. Today, we're going to talk through Slack's application and interview process. My hope is you'll walk away from this video feeling really comfortable and excited to begin your journey here at Slack. A very common question, can you tell me about a time where you experienced conflict at work and how did you handle it? In the face of any question, use the STAR method to articulate your response. STAR stands for situation, task, action, and result. Let's talk through one together. Consider reviewing Slack's values and attributes to help you choose one. To name a few, empathy, playfulness, courtesy, clearly set the scene and describe the situation. Share the goal that you were working toward. Describe the actions that you took and your particular contribution. Use I, not we. Then bring it home. Describe the outcome of your actions. Make sure to share specific results. And don't shy away from taking credit where credit is due. When I first chat with any candidates, you bet I have a couple of go-to questions. The first, I'm gonna ask you, why Slack? I am looking for you to describe why specifically Slack stands out from all of the other companies out there that are hiring, or how Slack aligns with your long-term career goals. This answer is different for everyone. Another question I will most certainly ask is what is fueling your current job search? If something is missing from your current employer, we will most certainly want to make sure that this role checks boxes for you. By talking about your motivators early and often, we can ensure that this step makes sense. Understanding Slack's interview process makes preparing even easier. Now this might differ from role to role, but if you and I are partnering to get you hired here at Slack, you're probably going to go through an interview process like this. First, you will have a one-on-one -on -one video interview with your potential new manager. This is a great opportunity for you to learn about their management style, their short-term and long-term goals for the team, what onboarding could look like, all of the fun things that make this role really exciting to you. And it's their opportunity to dive into your competencies and skill set a little bit further than you and I were able to do on the recruiter screen. Following that, you will go through what's called Slack's chronological interview. It's kind of like a panel style interview, but it is definitely a Slack staple. This interview feels like a behavioral based interview, but it takes a structured approach. You will actually go through each role that is presented on your resume from the beginning of your career up until where we are today. And you'll talk that through with these panel of interviewers. Finally, you will round out your interview experience with a final presentation. This is your opportunity to command the room and show your skills. You'll be given a prompt that has been created specifically for the role that you're interviewing for, and you'll be given some time to really craft what you're proud to present to your interviewers. This might feel like a lot, but don't worry. Every step of the way, you and I will jump back on the phone and we'll do some preparation. So you're able to ask questions, give you some tips, some pointers. I really want you to be set up for success and feeling comfortable. If you find yourself on the fence about applying to Slack, ask yourself why. Maybe you feel like your years of experience don't quite align with the years of experience required for the job. Instead, think about core competencies that you've picked up throughout your career. Those could be customer influence, planning and management, inclusion, the ability to sell in a heavily matrixed environment. That list goes on. If those core competencies that you possess can lead to success in the role, then apply. There will always be areas of opportunity for learning, development, and growth. But don't let those get in the way of your job search. Instead of thinking, well, it probably won't work out, shift your mindset, take that leap, and think, what if it does work out? Slack is committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We are dedicated to hiring diverse talent and ensuring that we treat you with respect and support through your interview process and once you join Slack. We embrace diversity and strive to create conditions where everyone is provided with the equal opportunity to thrive. Honestly, the tech sector is one in which anyone can work. And it's ever more important that our teams reflect the rich diversity of our world. 
Thanks for watching. I'll leave you with this. Every time that you go into an interview, whoever you're meeting with does need to fill this role. And 10 out of 10 times, they're probably hoping that you are the person for the job. So take the time to prepare, but show up and be your true authentic self. We're nothing without our people here at Slack.